Good morning guys and welcome to what is probably going to be the final episode of Tokyo Dark. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, just don't worry about it. I may have just washed my hair and then dried it and it looks terrible. Anyways, I'm trying to lower the number of regular Let's Plays on the channel because it's just fucking boring. But I need to see how this epic adventure ends. So, join me on the final stretch of Tokyo Dark and let's see where the story takes us. Alright, so here we are faced with the two choices. So the, the options are, just to catch you up, we can either go to Shinjuku, go back to the sewers and try to find the door, or we can go the boring route and try to cleanse the mask at Kamakura. But you all know we're gonna pick the dark path, so let's go to Shinjuku. Don't even worry about it. Here we go, no turning back now. I mean, actually, technically we still could turn back, but just don't worry about it. Oh boy. Hi, what's up? What's, what, what's going on? Wow, everyone is moving out, what the hell? The the girl before, she also said she's moving out of the city, and this guy's moving out, what? Well, it actually seems like we had some positive impact in people's lives, how about that? That seems nice, doesn't it? Well, I'm just collecting all of the achievements, everyone seems to be just doing great. But, it is time for us to go back into the sewer, oh boy. Yeah, just twist that one. And that one as well, I guess. I, I don't remember, good thing she does. Well, let's see what we find at the end of the tunnel. Am I right? I am so excited for this. Music is really going surprisingly positive. When I found Katsuki's body, he was wearing the mask. She'd made him wear it, as she'd been made to. Even after all the suffering she went through herself, she did it anyways. Can I really forgive her? Well, I guess we don't really have a choice, do we? Oh god, do I have to do this again? I forgot how it worked. Nope, luckily not, thank god. Jesus. Yeah, I totally forgot how that puzzle worked. Ooh, this is new. A rusted staircase. Uh, let's, let's badass walk our way down. This is cool. It's actually reminding me of Limbo a little bit. You know, just these structures in like the foreground. Out of focus, but still there. But don't tell me it's gonna be some repeating shit again. Go deeper. How deep can you possibly? I'm gonna get, end up in like some sort of water purification station or something. Yeah, there we go. Am I in Zion yet? Nope, still deeper. Just more freaking pipes. Oh boy, it's... Wow, it's really looking nice down here, doesn't it? They've been walking for hours. Come on, just, just give me something. Oh, another one of these. How about that? As I trudged through the oppressive lonely place, I slowly became aware of someone else. The dark woke up and began to shudder as if racked with quiet sobs and I felt a numbing sadness spread through my body. The sensation I felt in that place was familiar and I knew right, I knew right away why. She sat there like a lost little girl, like she'd been there for a long time and didn't know where to go. There was no fight in her body. No way for her to lash out. In that place, we were equals. She rose to her feet when she saw me, her eyes looking confused and desperate. She was the start of, of it all, everything. I put an end to it, one way or another. Oh shit. Okay. What the hell? Well, we really are equals. So you went anyway, huh? Even though I told you to leave me alone. Why can't you just forget and leave me? Ah, so that's it. You wanna keep hurting me, right? I hate to burst your bubble, but if revenge is what you're after, it won't work. You can't blow my brains out down here. The dark won't let you. Did I hurt your feelings? Did you bring your little gun all the way down here for nothing? You're disappointed. I didn't bring it. There's no point. I didn't shoot you when you took Tanaka, and I won't now. Don't try and trick me. Doesn't mean you don't want to. After everything I tried, I think you would be the one to show up here in the end. Funny, isn't it? After all, you were only supposed to be a guest star on my little show. A little temporary audition to liven things up a bit. You kept showing up, uninvited, digging up every sharp thing you could find to poke me with. Now I can't get rid of you. See, it is funny, right? No matter what we for 
No matter what we do, we're forced to get her again. We ought to make the best of it. You're right. We can't avoid each other forever. Chance has for us together. Whether we like it or not. So all we can do is see it through to the end. Even when I saw you in the forest. You were down here, weren't you? Where else? Welcome to the end of the line. I don't understand. It's awful down here. Why don't you try to get back up to the surface? How would I go back? What would be the point? When I do, I look around and I don't even recognize it anymore. Streets are different, the sounds have changed. Everyone I knew and ever cared about is gone. You don't know what it's like. Every day the same and feeling all my old pain again and again. People don't change, no matter what. No matter how much time goes, they all still look at me like I'm a flea-bitten dog to be kicked around and ignored. They hate me. In the end, I'll end up back here anyway, so why fight it? At least down here, nothing changes. When I was little, they said everything would be okay if I had the mask. But then mom died, and Polly took it away from me and nothing gone right since. No one ever cared about me. You're just like the rest of them, only someday you'll grow old and die. And I'll still be here, unless you give me that mask. It isn't that simple. Having the mask isn't going to solve your problems. Everyone always tells me it can be simple, but why not? None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. If you'd just given it to me in the first place, you could have lived your stupid little fantasy life. Instead, you had to be a hero and get involved in something that was none of your business. Why should I use it? Are my problems not as important as yours? That's it, isn't it? I won't let you be happy. If you don't help me, then fine. But I'll keep hurting you, and if you think it's bad now, you don't know the half of it. Or you could give it to me, and go on pretending to be happy while I find the door again. Again? You've seen it before. I don't know exactly what you think is gonna happen when you find it, but everything i found tells me it's dangerous. The door isn't for you. The collector said so. He said if I had the mask, I could find it again. He said if I found a shrine belonging to Kiwana, I could find it. So we met him too. He wasn't trying to help us. He must have been toying with us. Shut up, you don't know anything. He told me the mask would let me see the door again, just like the day mom died. When they put the mask on me, and I kept my eyes closed like mom told me to, even when people started getting sick and crying, then I saw it. The door. Even with my eyes still closed. When I looked at it, I heard mommy's voice and I knew it. I found it. Everything would be okay. I opened my eyes and it was gone. They took the mask and I saw mom on the ground. She wasn't moving anymore, like a doll. It was all my fault. It must have been. I did something wrong. Now I'm being punished for being a big screw up. Except, people like Higashi, he shouldn't have hurt me. He should have left me alone. I just want to stop them from hurting me. Does that make me bad? The funny thing is, if Tanaka was here, he'd understand. Even after everything you did to him, <clears throat> it's the kind of guy he is. It's not all your fault. This is beyond you. It's always been. That's why Tanaka was so intent on following you from the start. You weren't just a orphan girl. He somehow saw the darkness that was behind you. If only he had told me, I could have been there for him, helped him. You could have helped me. He was helping me. He was gonna save me. But why? He was helping you. I heard him. I, I didn't want to hurt Tanaka, but it was the only way to bring him here. Same way I was brought here. I thought I'd figured it out. But my white knight abandoned me. Went somewhere else. Turns out it was just another stupid idea from a stupid girl. What you did was wrong, but you can still make this right. You brought him down with you that night. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Just tell me what happened from the beginning. It's hard to remember. Try. Nothing's gone the way I thought it would. When I went back to Shinjuku, I... I remembered how I ended up in the dark. I knew what I had to do so Tanaka could be with me. Only the mask wasn't awake. It wasn't loud. So I made you come into the tunnel with me. And Tanaka so it could wake up. Then I slit his throat and went back to the dark and I waited. Tanaka woke up down there too, but the mask was gone. He was alive? He was like me, or I thought he was. First he seemed okay, 
But then he started wandering around, staring into space and talking to people who weren't there. Poor Tanaka, I think I broke <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you slit your man's throat. So he was down here. Tell me where he is. You don't get it, do you? I don't know where he is, and I don't care. He abandoned me. Even when he was here, he kept mumbling on and on about how he was going to help you. He gave you something, didn't he? A traitor. He even said he saw the door. But he didn't take me there. I hate him. To think Tanaka would help me is help a stupid little girl like me. It was dumb. The lecturer said I'd find the door with the mask. I just didn't want to be alone is all. Now you're here. So I guess the mask is too. I don't need him after all. He's gone. You're wrong. I can still feel him somewhere. He's waiting. You can? Maybe he's at the door. Please take me there. The mask opened in the dark and took me straight to Arena. And now that I'm here, I can feel it. Pulsing like a heartbeat. The unknowable place where chance and fate have no importance. That's where Kazuki is. I know what will happen if I lead her there. She'll get what she truly wants. She'll get to rest and finally be free. No more pain, no more suffering. Maybe that's what Kazuki would have wanted. But if I do that, the dark would change shape again. And any hope of finding him would be lost. He'd be trapped here waiting for me and I'd never be able to tell him the truth. He had everything he suffered for. That's if... The Katsuki Tanaka that's left here is the same man I loved. Either way, I have to abandon someone. But it's my responsibility. I have to choose. Oh. Shit, this is a tough one. Honestly, I am just a lot... Like, the option that seems a lot more interesting to me is this one. Just, like, this one seems like the generic happy ending that you would get. I, I don't know if it is, maybe it's not at all. But this one seems to me like a much more interesting option, so that's why I'm gonna pick it. Uh, that's my only real reasoning behind it, let's go. Please don't hurt me. What I did to knock it was the only way, you get it, right? No, you're wrong. But again, maybe there isn't the right way to begin with. In your own way, you're the same as me. You may still be down here, like you said. Would the Tanaka I find be the real him, though? If I use the mask, will they be the real me? I'm not so sure anymore. So you're really not gonna go after him? No. I'd have to give up even more of myself, to succumb even more to this darkness. You wouldn't have wanted that. You know, for a long time, your face was all I saw. It motivated me to push through my sadness because I thought I was doing something good. He became a demon, a symbol of all of my hatred. I'm not, I'm not a demon. No, you're not. I'm just a girl, always were. Besides, I'm no hero. I'm not sure if there is such a thing. I realize that now. Me, you, Tanaka, all three of us were just paper dolls caught in a storm, being blown by winds that were so far out of our control. I'm sorry, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just wanted a way out, I wanted to be normal. He was one of the smartest detectives. One of the smartest people I knew. I think you knew what would happen to him. Maybe that's why he was so distant. I wish things had played a different way for us. And for you. I know what happened to you. All of it. I know how I saw all those things, but I just can't ignore them. No one deserves to experience what you did. Every day you lived in hell with no love or light. It was awful. I'm sorry. I forgive you. It hurts to say it. That's selfish, isn't it? I can't forget the pain you caused me despite how hard I try, but I forgive you, because somewhere along the way, this horrible cycle has to end. I don't want to hurt people anymore. Then come with me, let me help you. Where are we going? To the door. You said you heard your mom, right? Let's go see her. What? What if she isn't there? What if I was wrong? And took it, there's nothing to be afraid of. You can rest like you always wanted, no more coming back. No more hurting people. Though I can't tell what's though I can't tell what you what's waiting for you. I know it's better than this, I promise. Do you think it will hurt? No. How do you know? I don't know how. But the dark responds to the feelings of the people in it. Every time we butt heads it pushed me out. It feels different now. It feels peaceful. What I'm trying to say is, I don't want to hurt you, Reina. I only want to help you. And I think the dark will too. Okay, I'm ready. Thank you. I don't know why you helped me, but thank you. You're welcome. 
And there she goes. Wow, really? That's it? For years, Rina searched for the door. The whole time it was nearby, hidden by a thick darkness that shifted in reaction to her own hatred and fear. The mask began to tug at me as if guiding us, and together, hand in hand, it appeared in front of us. I wasn't sure how I hadn't noticed it before. It was like it had always been there. Until that moment, I never noticed how small and truly fragile she was. Standing in front of the door, she shook like a leaf. Squeezing her hand, I reassured her, told her I forgave her, knowing that if she took a step forward, it would all be over and she'd find peace. I thought maybe I would too. For a long time, she stood, saying nothing. Eventually, she let go of my hand and went through the door. As soon as she did, her, Im her image began to fade. She was smiling. Not the unhinged smile from my past, but the true smile. The smile of a little girl. It's that smile, free of hate and malice, I remember now. The dark remained even after she left, though it began to change as I remained within it. Suddenly agitated and expansive like it was growing. Somehow I knew that little light I saw was because of Reina. Fear and hatred diffused out of the shadows. Thanks to that light, I was able to find the surface. The mask didn't quiet after her passing, and every day it became more restless. One day I cast it into the sea near Kamakura, and despite the Kawana woman's warning, it never returned to me, though occasionally I can still feel it, scratching like a pin needle on the back of my skull. <clears throat> when the girl faded, other memories did too. Impressions of a man called Katsuki Tanaka, and the love we all shared. I found pictures in my apartment that I know are him, yet all I see is the face of a stranger looking at me. I guess that's somewhat reassuring. <clears throat> some nights I wake up with tears in my eyes and images of that face crying out to me from some dark corner of my dreams, and I desperately try to remember why that memory remains. Jesus, yet something about those pictures and staying in that apartment feels familiar, even if I can't make sense of it some days. All I remember for sure is Raina's smile, knowing that in those final moments she forgave me for what I did to her, which was nothing. Finally, I was able to feel peace. And there we go, that was Tokyo Dark, everyone. Made by Shirmochi, wow, what a game. Really interesting, and also definitely with a lot of replayability value behind it, you know? I guess it's one of those games that you really have to take your time with, and if you out there decide to play it yourself, I would personally recommend trying to do it in as few sessions as possible. I kind of, you know, spread it out over quite a long time for YouTube. And I feel like the experience would have been much better had I played it in a single session. But I mean, I still enjoyed it quite a lot. It was, it, it kind of reminded me a bit of when I first discovered, like, The Walking Dead from Telltale. And having, you know, your story be driven by your choices. Now, I have no idea how much my choices actually affected the story in this game. But based on the reviews I've read from people, they actually do. And there's there's quite a lot of uh, difference when it comes to what you actually choose. Now, it kind of seemed to me that the ending would always end up being these two choices, like destroy the mask or uh, use the mask, no matter what you picked. But then again, who knows? You know, I have no idea. and. This might be one of those games that I just simply decide to come back to and replay again just to see uh, what the different choices were, you know, somewhere in my own time. Oh, it continues. Interesting. What's interesting? You're nothing but a crow feeding on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. Huh. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her own desires, I only gave her a little push. I thought you'd be happy. Ito found forgiveness through the context of her suffering by drowning herself in the past. A historian's dream. A gesture of extraordinary kindness, yes, but history does not smile at the happiness of one. It favors the welfare of all. Time is not a single threat. A complex tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. Different threat presents a myriad of truths, but all an aspect of the same visage, of the same visage, nonetheless. A myriad, interesting, interesting. As I thought, one so interested in history would adhere to a single truth. 
On the contrary, if history has taught me anything, it's that there is no truth. No one truth. The deeper one gazes, the more complex it becomes. Yes, all our truth, all grand insight into the same puzzle. You're right, my old friend. Time is a spiral, and observe it long enough, and we may learn something. No, she's not your plaything. That is not your decision. There's only one way this can end. Only one way for the world to remain intact and stop the thing that's coming. It must be protected. The role must be performed. Tch, <laughs> stubborn. Allow me to ask you a question. I believe I know it already. You've asked it before. Indulge me. I asked her the same question. If the dancing puppet looks up and sees its strings, does it remain a puppet? What a fate and chance then. And I answer your riddle with one of my own. You see the storm clouds approaching, and, thought, and though you can take shelter or alter your course, does the storm not come regardless? Yeah, no fun. You've never tolerated my philosophical side. Nor you me when I tell you how things are. I suppose that's because we are one and the same. What of her? All we can do is see. Eventually, she will end up there. There is only one path which will hold the world together. Wow, that was fucking deep. And you can go for a new game plus. What the f... This isn't Dark Souls? What is this? I have no idea what new game plus... Usually that would mean like you replay the game but already keep the stats from the previous... Maybe that's it. You start the game but you already keep the stats from the, from the first playthrough. Which also that was kind of an interesting thing the stats that you had like it's for, in the beginning it seemed like it's gonna be a really important mechanic but I literally forgot about it I took the medication every time I was told to and I probably never like in the past few episodes I didn't even check all my stats I had no idea where I was well anyways thank you guys so much for sticking on to this adventure with me hope you all enjoyed if you did, make sure to check back in for more and leave your suggestions on what next games I should check out down in the comments below. I wish you all a beautiful rest of this sunny and beautiful day, and I'm gonna see you all in the next video I make. Bye bye.